Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. It's good to be back with you guys. I know I've been gone for a few days uh, traveling, uh, but it's awesome to be back. Uh, there's just so much I want to get to, but it's awesome that I've been able to talk to you guys on Telegram. Now, if you don't have a Telegram channel, I'll put the link to my Telegram channel in the description box below. It's free. Um, I can just post a lot more on there, things that are going on, because I can't keep up with everything doing videos. Uh, but things that are going on as it pertains to end times Bible prophecy, salvation messages, uh, encouraging messages. Again, it's free. It'll be in the description box. So if you don't have a telegram, uh, please consider being a part of it just because I can uh, talk to you guys uh, a lot more on there. But man, the things that have happened just in the last few days, it is off the charts. And all I can say is Jesus is coming soon. But what I want to talk about uh, to you guys about today, I want to discuss something Ukraine's president, uh, Vladimir Zelensky, said on Friday a few days ago, and why it is very significant in regards to end times Bible prophecy, specifically a future war that will occur on Israel's northern border, which you can read about in Ezekiel chapter 38. But first, let me discuss uh, what Vladimir Zelensky said on Friday and why it's so significant, uh, especially as it pertains to Ezekiel chapter 38. This is recently in from U.S. News and World Report, an article titled Zelensky, Obvious Ukraine Won't Be Putin's Last Stop. Quick Arms Supplies Crucial. Let me read some of this to you. President Vladimir Zelensky said on Friday, just a few days ago, it was obvious Ukraine would not, not be the last stop of President Vladimir Putin's invasion and that it was vital the West did not delay arms deliveries to help repel Russian forces. The Ukrainian leader told the Munich Security Conference by video link that while the West was negotiating supplies of tanks to Kiev, the Kremlin was thinking of ways to strangle the former Soviet Republic of, of Moldova which lies west of Ukraine. It's obvious that Ukraine is not going to be his last stop. He's going to continue his movement all the way, including all the other states that at some point in time were part of the Soviet bloc, Zelensky said. So very clearly, Zelensky said, you know, we need help because this isn't going to be his last stop. He's not going to stop at Ukraine. This man is on a mission and anybody that stands in his way, he's going to lash out against. Now, why is this so significant in regards to end times Bible prophecy? Well, when you go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, we're going to read the first four, first four verses together, and we're going to dive into this. Ezekiel chapter 38, verses 1 to 4. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company, with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. First off, who is Gog, G-O-G? Well, Gog is the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. The proper translation is the prince of Rosh, Meshach and Tubal. In Hebrew, the word for chief is Rosh. That is also the ancient name for Russia. So Gog is the prince of Rosh, or the president or ruler of Rosh. Simply put, the president or ruler of Russia. 
Who is currently the president or the ruler of Russia? Well, it's Vladimir Putin. So am I 100% saying that Vladimir Putin is Gog or G-O-G, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal? No, I can't be dogmatic about that. Maybe it's not Putin and a future ruler of Russia will be Gog, but this is what I can tell you. What this man has done over the past couple of years, what he is doing and what he plans to do, it is very possible that he is Gog or the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, spoken of in Ezekiel chapter 38. Now, when you continue to read Ezekiel chapter 38, it tells you the nations that are going to join together to attempt to invade Israel on its northern border. You can see on the screen here the ancient name on the left, Magog, Rosh, Meshach, Tubal, Persia, Cush, Lud, Gomer, and Tugarma. And on the right, you have the, the modern name. So you'll see Russia, Iran, Turkey, Ethiopia, Sudan, Libya, Algeria, you know, Central Asia. So all of these are going to come together, and they're going to attempt to invade Israel on its northern border. But when you read Ezekiel chapter 38 and Ezekiel chapter 39, you will see that they are going to fail. And God is going to defend Israel. God is going to destroy these enemies, this group that attempts to invade Israel on its northern border. The amazing thing is, three of the nations mentioned in this confederacy that's going to be a part of Ezekiel chapter 38 that attempts to invade Israel on its northern border, Russia, Iran, and Turkey. If you've noticed over the past couple years, their alliance has strengthened. You keep hearing about how they're strengthening their alliance. They keep meeting together, plotting. So the alliance between three of these nations, I call them the big three that are going to be a part of this future invasion on Israel's northern border, Russia, Iran, and Turkey, their alliance is strengthening. And not only that, they are currently all inside of Syria, just north. Or they're all inside of Syria. Uh, yeah, just north on its of Israel's northern border. So they're already in perfect position. So when the time does come in the future, and the other nations that are a part of Ezekiel chapter 38 join Russia, Iran, and Turkey, they're already there. So they'll be able to attempt this invasion on Israel's northern border. But I also want to discuss how many countries have came out forth and said that they've noticed a significant change in Vladimir Putin's behavior in the last couple years. Like this article I had talked about uh, before from Politico, Finland's president sees change in Putin. It was a different kind of behavior. He's becoming a lot more aggressive, they're saying. I mean, look at what he's doing currently. He invades Ukraine, and now he's threatening, you know, nuclear exchange with the NATO nations. Uh, threats against the United States, against the West. I mean, it's off the charts. And again, the threats of nuclear exchange is off the charts. So, in my opinion, Vladimir Putin is acting extremely Gog, I'll call it gog -esque. All right, can't say he is Gog, but the way he's acting and the strengthening alliance between Russia, Iran, and Turkey, uh, north of Israel's border currently, the, 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 the dots are all connecting, folks. And let's talk about the hook in the jaw. Because when you go back to Ezekiel uh, chapter 38, verse 4, we read, And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So something is going to draw Gog, G-O-G, -G, the, uh, the prince of Meshach and Tubal. It's going to put hooks into thy jaws. It's going to draw him in uh, to attempt this invasion on Israel's northern border. What's going to be the hook, the hooks in, the jo in thy jaws? Well, we keep hearing about Israel's natural gas and oil uh, over the last few years, and here's a recent article, Justin, Israel's natural gas you know, oil revenues hits record highs in 2022. And this is Justin from the Times of Israel. 
Israel exports crude oil for first time with shipment heading for Europe. Country joins club of international oil exporters with first cargo load of hydrocarbon liquids extracted from offshore Karish natural gas field. So is all this natural gas and oil resources, is Putin going to be hungry for that? Is that going to be the hook in the jaws that draws him in for this future invasion on Israel's northern border? And we've also had this recently in from the Times of Israel. Moscow warns Israel that supplying Ukraine with arms will escalate conflict. Putin's came forth and said anyone that's supplying Ukraine with arms and tanks and planes, whatever, to use against Russia will be a declaration of war. So we've seen the threats coming out from Putin and Moscow against Israel, especially recently. And also just in recently from the Times of Israel, Russia condemns Israeli strike on Syria as flagrant violation of international law. We had the recent uh, Israeli airstrikes around the, uh, surrounding Damascus, Syria that just killed five recently. And Russia has been telling Israel to stop striking inside of Syria, especially since Russia is there. And they told them to stop these airstrikes uh, around the Damascus area. And these strikes are continuing. And Russia just condemned the recent Israeli airstrike on Syria as a flagrant violation of international law. So am I 100% saying that Vladimir Putin, the current president or ruler of Russia, is Gog, G-O-G, the Prince of Meshach and Tubal? I can't be dogmatic and say that he is. But what I can say is I'm watching the, the strengthening alliance between Russia, Iran, and Turkey, the big three as I call them, that are going to lead this future invasion uh, on Israel's northern border, and they're going to fail miserably. God is going to get the victory in that one. Just read Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39. Um, but what I am saying is Vladimir Putin is acting gages, G-O-G-E-S-S, -S, um, because of what he's doing, his a massive change in behavior, the threats threatening everyone basically with nuclear exchange. Uh, Zelensky just came out on Friday and said he's not going to stop with Ukraine. And we know according to Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 4, um, there's going to be hooks in the jaws that draws in Russia and these other nations to attempt to invade Israel on its northern border. And these major oil and gas discoveries that are happening just off Israel's coast, you don't think that's getting the attention of Vladimir Putin? No, he's not going to stop with Ukraine. He's threatening again the NATO nations, the United States, the recent threats against Israel, and we know what's coming according to Ezekiel chapter 38. So folks, the dots are all connecting. It's all there. So all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Belief. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you can never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us, and he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross, so you could be reconciled back to him, 
forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. But the bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming, and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.